At George Brown College, many of our online services require one password. To create this password, follow these easy steps. Navigate to the following website, service.georgebrown.ca. You will need to log in using your student number as your user ID and your password, which is the same password you use to log into StuView. Once you update the password, the new password will be applied to your email, StuView, MyGBC, the library computers, and campus Wi-Fi. If you do not know your password, please come to the library circulation and help desk with your student ID card, and library staff will provide you with a temporary password. If you're unable to come to the library desk, please call the contact center at 416-415-5000, extension 2000, to get a temporary password. Once you've logged in with your password, click the Change Password link. Enter your current password. Enter an identical password in both the New Password and New Password Confirm fields. The current criteria for an acceptable password are as follows must be at least six characters, but no more than 20 characters, must begin with a letter, must contain only letters and numbers, must contain at least one uppercase and one lowercase letter and one number. You cannot use the same characters more than twice in a row. You cannot use the same password you have used before. You cannot use a password you have used in the past in reverse characters. If you're unable to log in to service.georgebrown.ca, please see staff at the Library Learning Commons Circulation and Help Desk so that they can assist you in changing your password. The password change is typically completed within a few seconds, but may take up to a minute. If you have not done it as yet, it is important to set up your forgotten password information. The forgotten password information is located directly under Change Password. You'll be asked to answer five answers to any of the 10 questions provided. If you ever forget your password, you will be asked to answer three of the chosen questions to confirm your identity. Please note that no spelling or other verification checks are performed on your answer. Once you have entered your five answers, click OK. The Request Completed page will now be displayed. At this point, you may wish to print or copy your answers for further reference. Click Log Off to Exit. For your security, we recommend that you exit from your internet browser at this point and start a new browser if internet access is required. You may return to the self-serve password utility at any time to change your password or to change your forgotten password info questions and answers.